how do I quit my job if I'm scared the real secret hey have you wanted to quit your job but you're scared you're worried I mean leaving the security of that place to go to work of that paycheck of knowing the rents gonna be paid that's pretty frightening and in this video I'm gonna share with you how I quit my job and how you can quit yours and put you on the road to working for yourself and we're starting right now hey I'm JR Fisher welcome to my channel if you're brand new and if you're already a subscriber welcome back if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you go down to that subscribe button hit that subscribe button there and then hit the little bell next to it that's the bell notification and it's gonna make that noise just like that really try it you'll see and then turn on all notifications that way when I make a new video I can tell you all about it now I've been selling online since 2009 I was faced with quitting my job and I actually did quit my job obviously but it took a lot of strength to do so but now you know I've sold millions of dollars worth of both digital and physical products online and it's supported me for many many years and I'd like to share with you that process and what I went through and what you could go through I also want to give you a free gift down in the description there's a $97 e-commerce course you can get absolutely free all you have to do is click the link and it will take you to a page where you can start getting that training so go ahead and take advantage of that and don't forget subscribe notifications let's do that all right so let's get into selling online now I was afraid to quit my job today we actually have my branded products on thousands of websites including Walmart I have courses I've done coaching you know I've done speaking and it all came from quitting my job but quitting that job that's the scary thing and I will tell you um, it's something that any entrepreneur is faced with at some point obviously um, I actually started selling online in 2009 and uh, I actually quit my job in in 2011 but by that point I had worked it up to where my best month so far was $80,000 in a single month so I, that was pretty good I thought 80 grand a month now why did I want to quit my job because everybody's got their own motivation for this so the reason I didn't want to work there anymore was not because of the pay the pay wasn't what I wanted I mean it wasn't enough um, but it was because of my boss I didn't like my boss and it's been proven that probably 80 to 90 percent of the dissatisfaction with people's jobs is because of their boss and um, you know he actually did me a favor uh, because you know I, I did finally quit and I did finally start my own business and did finally make money but that is a big motivator guys you know if you don't like your boss now you can have other motivations you know it could be you're not making enough money you know maybe Maybe you don't have enough time with your family that was another one I hit on because I was a single dad I didn't have enough time with my family uh, I also wanted to travel and I couldn't travel because I had to work all the time and they gave me short vacations and then when I did have a vacation you had to worry about losing your job while you were gone you're gonna replace you with somebody else so you know that that was another tough situation so without enough money and with not liking my job and wanting more time you know I was kind of overwhelmed I didn't I didn't like being in that position anymore um, but I had some other good benefits too I mean I had a company car you know my pay wasn't bad it was better than the average person at the time um, if you kind of fall into this situation where you want to quit and you have one of these things bothering you put in the comments below put in there what it is that's gonna motivate you to quit your job the more you talk about it the more you discuss it the better the odds are that you're gonna do it and you're gonna succeed so you know put that in the comments below don't forget to do that I'm gonna tell you that the first thing you need to do is change your thought pattern patterns that is the number one biggest thing you can do if you want to be able to quit your job and be successful in your own business now there is a process and I know Tony Robbins uses it too it's called the Dickens process and it's basically an NLP technique used um, by a lot of people to actually change the way they think um, the essence is really based on Scrooge okay where it shows the future doesn't have to be what you think it's gonna be now if you've ever watched the movie Scrooge you know that you know it's a Charles Dickens thing and that's why it's called the Dickens principle but when you fast forward think to where you're gonna be you know in the future and you model that and you figure out what that's gonna feel like and then you fast forward if you've made some changes what your future is gonna be like um, you can actually change your thought process and it'll actually change your action 
questions it'll get you different results too so this process actually uses your conscience to visualize both paths okay you have to really sit down and visualize both paths it's better if you do this with your eyes closed I know they do that at the Tony Robbins events um, you can actually pick which route you want to go down so I'm gonna walk you through it in just a second so you can kind of get this in your brain but I kind of want to give you an example um, so let's let's pick something like smoking okay before we work on yours let's pick on something like smoking now if you're a smoker now and you know I know a lot of people in the country are, are smokers right now it's a shame but they actually are um, you probably want to quit that's probably something you'd like to do you'd probably like to quit smoking but it's a very hard thing to do so what we do is we sit down and they say okay well let's say I didn't quit smoking okay let's say for a year from now I didn't quit smoking what would my life look like well you know I may I may get sick you know I could maybe get cancer or something like that or you know I may just not feel as good or I may cough a lot you know a year is not that long um, but it's gonna probably take its toll on my body I'm probably gonna feel weaker probably won't breathe as well you know what about five years now let's take five years if you continue to smoke for five years from now you know maybe you'll quit going to the gym if you're already going to the gym because it's too much effort um, the breathing's becoming more and more difficult um, you've spent a lot of money on cigarettes at this point I, I don't even know what they sell for anymore I, I'm, I was blown away last time I looked but I think they're close to 100 bucks a cart and I have no idea that could be totally wrong but the point is you've spent a lot of money too so maybe maybe you're going through a couple cartons a month maybe it's a couple hundred dollars a month and uh, that's something that you could have used for your utility bill that's something you could have socked away for savings that's something you could have put towards a car payment you know there's so many things you could have done with that money and after five years of that all that money has gone and your health is worse okay so let's go out ten years from now and let's say ten years from now you do contract a disease let's say you get lung cancer okay if you get lung cancer um, they're gonna give you six months to live so what does that mean to you well you've shortened your life obviously but how does it affect everything around you how what, what does it do to the people around you well now you've got to tell your kids hey I'm not gonna be around for my grandkids I'm not gonna be able to see you get married I'm not gonna be able to see you you know graduate graduate college I'm not gonna be there because I've got lung cancer now and I'm gonna die so that is the bad route okay that's the route that you take and you go well if I don't change this situation that's where it's gonna end up then you take the other route you say okay I'm a smoker but I'm gonna quit what will my life be like a year from now and you say well a year from now uh, I don't know maybe something bad happened maybe I gained a little bit of weight because I quit smoking but I do feel better uh, and I can breathe better and I didn't get a cold all year long normally I'll get two or three colds a year but since I quit smoking I didn't get a cold all right let's take it out five years five years from now let's say well you know what I, I did drop that weight and I got to where I was going to the gym more and I started working out more and I was physically in shape more than I had been before uh, because I wasn't smoking uh, my health did seem to improve and I noticed you know I didn't have the stains on my fingers the way I used to and I didn't smell bad and I actually had some extra money left over every single month and you know I started a business on the side let's say you did that with your money okay and I was able to invest in that business every month because I had that extra money left over from those cigarettes uh, and then take it out 10 years now and 10 years from now well actually my business grew from the cigarette money I had and and uh, now I, I was able to quit my job and I was able to you know do what I want and travel I've been able to see several countries uh, and it looks like I got a pretty bright future so that is that Dickens process looking at what's gonna happen if you don't change it what's gonna happen if you do change it now what we want to do is we want to actually model that for your job okay so let's say you're in a job now let's say you're making 50,000 a year and you know some of the desires and the wants you have are to I want to travel I want to spend more time with my family uh, I want to have a nicer car I want to have a nicer house I want to have nicer clothes um, and I'm in this job making 50,000 a year right now it's not gonna happen you know maybe I'll get a raise maybe I can make some more money but let's say I don't quit my job okay I don't quit my job a year from now they don't fire me but they don't give me a raise and I'm still making 50,000 a year so I can't do a lot of things I want um, I don't really have time to exercise I don't have time with my family a lot of the things I want to see and do I can't do because I'm only making this 50 grand my wife actually had to pick up another job to help supplement you know one of my kids has now got a paper route and you know he's paying for some of his own clothes and stuff because I just don't have enough money so that's what can happen in that period of time now let's take it out to 10 years 10 years from now 
um, let's say well you know I didn't quite make it to 10 years because at year seven they actually fired me from my job and I had to go look for another job and I found another job but it was even making less money than I had made before things are tighter now we actually had to downsize um, I had to sell my nicer car and I had to get a cheaper one and we now live in an apartment so that's what happens if you don't quit your job okay now you may have gotten a raise along the way maybe you did maybe maybe you got a little bit more money maybe you, the bad things didn't happen but bottom line is your life didn't exactly skyrocket now let's say you did quit your job and you started a business this is where people get scared if I quit my job and I start a business it could fail and that's all you think about so get that out of your mind first off that's the first thing we would do is get that out of your mind we want to think about the good things that could happen okay so if I quit my job and I start this business and this is what I was faced with if I quit my job and I start this business what could what could happen that's good well maybe I could build up this business you know in a year from now maybe I could actually replace my income from my job and maybe I'm making 60 or 70 thousand a year so my income goes up a little bit you know not a tremendous amount but more but you know I feel better because I'm now more relaxed um, I don't have to listen to somebody else tell me what to do anymore I can actually go to work when I want sometimes I work in the evenings sometimes I work on the weekends you know if my kids have a, an event at school I'm able to attend it almost any time because whatever time I take for that event I then take that time I didn't work and I put into work later on so you're there for all the events now which is kind of nice and that was the first year year five what happens at year five your business actually grows okay you're able to pay off all your debts you're able to get a nice car you're able to you know travel a bit maybe you even went overseas maybe you saw a foreign country that you've never seen before that's what happened in five years then at ten years what happened well business went up and down business does go up and down but maybe you got it to go up again maybe you learned some new talents maybe you were able to teach some people some new things and you found out that you could do courses online you could make money doing that because the other business Business didn't go as well and I know that happened with us with survival food it went down a little bit so we started doing training and teaching people how to make money online so if you take that Dickens principle and you apply it to quitting your job and you look at some of the positive things then you may be able to do this in fact I know you can do it because I did it okay I did it I'm not speaking from a position of I have no idea what would happen if you quit your job I quit my job okay and what I figured out is I will work a lot harder for for me than I'll ever work for anybody else and I wasn't a lazy employee I worked hard for my employer I always did and did my best and did all those things but the bottom line is when I'm working for me it's a whole different story and when things get a little edgy or I don't have enough money for me I'm gonna work all the time I'm gonna work seven days a week I'm gonna work in the evening you know it's been said an entrepreneur the definition of an entrepreneur is somebody who work 80 hours a week for themselves to keep from having to work 40 hours a week for somebody else there's something to be said for that but yeah we put in a lot of hours online that's very true however we have a lot of freedoms we have a lot of liberties we have a lot of chances to meet new people and see new things and that's basically what life is about it's about experiences it's not really about money though you know we've generated millions of dollars online and that's great it's not just about that though it's about all the new people I've met all the places I've been able to go to the time I've been able to spend with my kids and now my grandkids because I'm getting older but bottom line is my life is different if I want to go out and have dinner with friends I go out and have dinner with friends I don't have to ask anybody if it's okay um, I know that I'm allowed to do that because I set my own schedule if I decide I want to go to work at 6 o'clock in the morning and get a bunch of stuff done and take off in the afternoon I can do that if I decide I'm tired in the morning one day and I don't want to get up I can start work at 10 or 11 o'clock I rarely do that <laughs> but if I want to do it it's nice knowing that I have the freedom to do that and that's what you're gonna gain if you quit your job now I read an interview not too long ago about Jeff Bezos and the interesting thing about Jeff Bezos is that he used one criteria for every single decision he made and I thought it was a pretty interesting criteria and I thought it was basically the Dickens process but he didn't know it was and his process was what will this what will happen when I make this decision by the time I'm 80 years old 
so he based everything on being 80 years old so if I if I go down this route what's gonna happen by the time I'm 80 if I go down this route what's gonna happen by the time I'm 80 so I guess you could apply it to I'm not gonna go to the gym if I don't go to the gym today and I don't do it until I'm 80 maybe I'll die at 70 okay I, I won't I won't be in shape or maybe I'll go to the gym today because if I keep doing this every day at the age of 80 I'm gonna feel good you know and I'll be in shape and I'll be you know looking good so it's that 80 year thing that I thought was really important that he makes that decision based on everything and as you know Jeff Bezos owns Amazon which I think Amazon owns the world at this point I don't know what it'll be by the time you see this video so basically I want you to run yourself through these questions what would be the cost of limiting beliefs to you right now what are those what are those, what are those things costing you what are those bad habits costing you right now um, what would you do to change those things also how could your your bad habits or your lack of decision hurt people who are the closest to you, your family and friends how will it affect them and don't think it won't it will you know your decisions will affect them I promise you that once you make these decisions what effect will it have in your future business life okay what will happen there what could you earn what could you do what could you accomplish so now I want you to think about all of your new empowering patterns and beliefs you know what are those things you know how will you evolve as a person you know if you stay in that same job for 40 years you're probably gonna be the same person if you get out of your comfort zone and try something new you're probably gonna learn new things you're gonna become a different person and that's really what life is about is evolving because we are not born as the person we should become we grow into the person we become as we work on ourselves you know and you got to really visualize this stuff you know when you're thinking about what the future is you know when I think of the future and I'm thinking about well taking a trip somewhere I think about you know the people around me you know the cars around me the noises the smells what are all these things going on around me because that makes that future pacing a whole lot more realistic if I can do that so that's really all you need to do guys you can change your life you can do these things grab my course it's a free e-commerce course it's just below on this video here absolutely free don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on notifications right don't forget to put comments in there tell me what you're gonna do tell me what you've done tell me what part of this is useful to you give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel